Hello Aquarius, so this is your monthly reading. I'm gonna first start it with the Romance Angel and the Capra deck. Also, um, I'm going to have the career part of this reading. I will timestamp it down below. So every month I'm gonna do a career um, reading for the monthly, okay? So let's see what's going on. Okay, universe, give me a four card spread. So soulmates. Okay, universe, give me three more cards. Attraction, universe, retreat. It's safe for you to love. Pay attention to red flags. Okay, so this is pertaining to single Aquarius or Aquarius as dating. Okay, um, someone is showing a lot of red flags to you. Um, and you guys are kind of wanting to like kind of be retreating from them you want to retreat from them so let's see what else i'm getting okay so universe we have four cards but what's going to happen in aquarius love life for november so mature woman universe give me three more cards house universe give me two more cards message universe give me one more card Universe, give me one more card. Sudden wealth. Okay, so mature woman, house, message, sudden wealth, and toy labor. Okay, you may feel like this person is a user. Okay, you may feel like this person is a user. It could be also this, you may feel like this person want you to be dependent on them as well. Um, that's the main red flag that I'm getting. So I feel like a lot of you guys are. It's like you are learning from past experiences with a mature woman. It's like you are wise and you seeing the red flags and you can see where it can go far left. So I feel like a lot of you guys are retreating and it could be in the sense of like not you completely giving up on love or just stop dating. I feel like it's just like you focusing on this person. I feel like you guys, when it comes to love and dating, you, you're probably going to be focusing on someone else. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. So let's look at the other deck. Universe, give me a four card spread. Okay, so there is conclusions. Universe, give me three more cards. There is choices. Playful. Okay, yeah. So some of you guys want to explore your options. Okay. Um, some of you guys may feel like this person is the player too. Universe, give me one more card. Less. Yeah. And full. Yeah, you may feel like it's foolish to only focus on this person or just to be serious with them. Okay, and I got the Queen of Cups. I feel like this is more of like you um, listen to your intuition. So, let's see with the tarot. Okay, so universe, give me a five card spread. What's going to happen in Aquarius love life? So, we got the Queen of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Universe, give me four more cards. The Tower Universe. Universe, give me three more cards. Universe, give me three more cards. Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. Universe, give me two more cards. Queen of Pentacles Universe. Universe, give me one more card. Hangman. Okay, so what I'm seeing with this person, I feel like this person talk a good game. Like, in the beginning... You probably saw a potential with them and then they start acting different. There was being inconsistent. So a lot of you guys are pulling away from them. You're not getting attached to them. You see them for who they are. Okay. This is probably someone who likes to love bomb, especially if you was dealing with a fire sign, particularly a Sagittarius or Aries. You see like, you see who they are. A lot of you guys probably experienced that in the past before. So it's like, you knowing better. So you're going to be doing better. Um, that's what I'm seeing. And you're not going to be too caught up with them. You're not going to, um, be attached to them when they're not like super attached to you or when they're a player you know like like not letting this person get the best out of you not letting this person have your emotions okay when they're not deserving of your emotions that's what i'm seeing okay i feel like this person is still gonna be like kind of weighing waiting on you to see like if you are going to play their game um or to like you know be with them but i feel like a lot of you guys are just gonna agree 
frock. You're not going to entertain this, okay? Strong Sagittarius energy, okay? So you see what else I'm getting. Universe, clarify the Eight of Wands. Your Swords. Yeah, this is someone who's a player. I feel like they're not looking for something serious. Universe, clarify Three of Swords. Five of Wands, Two of Wands. Yeah, there's other people involved, okay? Universe, clarify the Hangman. Page of Cups. Universe, clarify Page of Cups. Universe, clarify page of cups. Queen of wands in reverse. Okay. So, with this person, you know that they're entertaining someone else. Okay. Because um, before they was acting really good. You saw potential. And then when they started switching up, that first red flag, you guys um, kind of like um, stop engaging with, with this person. Stop entertaining this person. Um kind of like checking yourself not like making your making yourself um fall for a potential okay universe clarify the queen of pentacles in reverse hyphen reverse the star okay two of pentacles yeah you know there's somebody else that you know that you can feel it universe clarify the knight of wands seven pentacles in reverse yeah this is someone who's really not looking for something serious they like to play games they like to waste people time universe clarify seven pentacles in reverse Universe clarify seven pentacles in reverse. The inference, okay? They may even have um, a wife, a husband. Universe clarify the tower in reverse. The hermit. Universe clarify the hermit. The world. Four pentacles in reverse. Uh, again, I feel like you guys are... You know where this can go. And I feel like you guys are protecting yourself from this. From it getting worse. Okay? So that's why you guys have, like, really um, disengaged... From this person. Universe, clarify nine pentacles and the queen of swords. Six of wands, okay. Yeah, I feel like in the, in the past, in the beginning, it was really good. And then they showing their true colors and you believe in them, okay. You're believing who they are. You know, you're not trying to make excuses for them. You see them exactly for what it is. Um, six of cups in reverse, okay. So, yeah, I feel like you guys are... Thinking about past experiences, not being fearful. It's just like you know where it can go and you're just not going to engage into this, okay? So, yeah, player think that they can play you and that's not the case. So, I might name it that. <laughs> so, the sign, strong Sagittarius. It could be a Capricorn here too. It could be an Aries, a Libra, okay? Let's see what else I'm getting. blank card okay so universe give me a four card spread so P pioneer then it's warrior then there's servant universe give me one more card okay so there is delantante poet and trickster jenna energy is thief yeah wow so yeah you guys see them exactly for who they are they can't play you Okay, um, but this person is like, you're really going to disconnect for them because you're not going to be wasting your time. Okay, this person thought you was going to play, not play, but like, you know, just be not aware of what they're trying to do. But I feel like a lot of you guys are seeing exactly what it is. Okay. Okay, let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, give me a three card spread. Engage remembering. This person could be married, like I was mentioning, or just in a like in a weird relationship. Okay. Paradise universe, give me one more card. I also feel like with engagement engagement ring today. My Haitian accent. Okay. <laughs> I also feel with engagement ring. Um you are being committed to yourself. Like you're not gonna cheat yourself, okay? Okay, yeah, you're not, because you know that this is just not it. Okay, and you you're going to be patient with God, the universe and yourself with that soulmate. You're not going to be settling. So so connection, partnership, agreement, so contract, um, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other, frustrated relationship, lack of confidence, self image, um, self sabotage, fear and ego issue, jealousy. Okay. 
universe. We have four cards, Bren. So there is Sakura Chakra, Disconnect and Boredom, Mental Conflict, Movement, Choice and Decisions, Material, Spiritual Prosperity, and Emotional Loss, okay? So yeah, this is someone who might be emotionally manipulative at times too. Um, I feel like, again, done there, been, th um, been there, okay? Done that, and you're not going to repeat it, okay? Disconnect and Boredom. You don't see this as engaging, interested, okay? Mental conflict. I feel like you are going to puzzle them because they see that you're not, um, you're not um, being what they expected, okay? Or you're not acting the way that they expect you to act, okay? They have other people. You're aware of that. I feel like uh, with the material and spiritual prosperity, it's more like you're not going to let this affect you, like, emotionally. Let's see. Let's look over here. Okay, universe, give me a four card spread. So many. I take these for some reason. I won't take them. Okay, so it's time to release ne negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Answering the call. The time is now. Hold your vision, fix moon. You are good enough. Um, full moon in Virgo. Believe in an impossible blue moon. And don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. Jenna energy is view from above, get the big picture. I feel like you guys did. Um, okay, you're seeing things in um, kind of like a third um, perspective, okay? Not getting too caught up with um, emotions. Um, I feel like with the, these cards here, it's more picking up on your dreams, your goals, aspiration. You know the time is now for you to really go full throttle, okay? Um, the universe wants you to really have a great plan, okay? Very, be very um, meticulous, very very um, in-depth of what you want to do, um, how you want to run it, okay? And whatever you want, feel like you're deserving of what you want, okay? Because anything is possible. So let's see what else I'm getting with the angel answers and then the oracle then we're gonna go to the career part of the reading okay all right universe give me a four card spread so there is let go improving health perfect timing yep so i see you guys gonna let go of this person with ease okay take action and not the right time you may feel like this person is not ready for what you want okay this person here is going to try to see how they can block you from moving on but i feel like you guys are going to make up your mind and let this person go let's look at the oracles okay universe give me a two card spread what messages do you have for aquarius okay i got a lot of cards i'm gonna pick it for you <laughs> So I picked these three for you. So there is infinite self. My infinite self dwells in the sweetness of this very moment. Power of my voice. I speak my truth and express my feelings to others with care and compassion. And the flow. When I'm in the flow, magic happens. General energy. Friendship. I'm deeply grateful for the gift of friends. My appreciation for them is endless. This is Aquarius energy. Aquarius rule the house of friendship and networking. Okay, so I feel like you guys are going to be reconnecting with good friends, um, connecting with um, new friends that's good for you. Um, and then with empty self, power of my voice, I feel like this is just believing yourself, positive self-talk, okay, and the flow. You're not going in a path that is going to create drama and chaos in your life, have a lot of resistance. You're going to the you're not going to a path that have the most resistance. You're going to a path that has the least resistance, something that's actually aligned to you, okay? And this is with love. This is with friendship, okay? So, yes, look at your um, career part of the reading. Okay, so first I'm going to ask specific questions, and then I'm going to go to just um, the advice of the part of the reading. So let's start with the first question. Okay, so how's work going to be for Aquarius in November 2021? Universe, how will work be for Aquarius? Seven of Wands in reverse. So how will work would be for you guys? You may feel like you want to give up, okay? You may feel like you don't want no drama. 
nothing like that but the universe wants you to persevere okay do not let people get into your head don't let don't let like external factors like make you feel like you need to quit don't don't let that happen okay universe how will finances be for aquarius in november 2021 four of pentacles okay so i feel like a lot of you guys are going to be saving a lot i don't feel like it's going to be like your finances is bad it's more of like you saving um you eliminating things that might be excess okay where it's like kind of not making your money grow okay let's see what else i'm getting okay universe what does aquarius need to watch out for at work universe what does aquarius need to watch out for at work universe what does aquarius hermit <laughs> That's funny because Hermit is about being very reclusive and um, kind of like the quiet ones, okay? So what you need to watch out for, probably you need to watch out for the ones that's quiet, like really quiet, um, probably because this person's trying to plot on you or they're trying to get to your position. Also, this could be you. What you need to watch out for is being like too reclusive, okay? Um, connect with the right people, Okay. Especially like if you have your own business, but your business is relating to services and stuff like that. The universe wants you to network more. You are Aquarius, Aquarius real friendship and network. The universe wants you to be in your energy, okay? Connect with the right people. So universe, what does Aquarius need to do at work to exceed in November? Eight of Pentacles, okay? So just focus extremely at what can you do to improve your your um, business what can you do to improve at work okay be really focused at work don't let things distract you okay it could be gossip it could be friendship it could be like um drama with friends okay um drama with family drama with love don't let that distract you don't let it like make you feel a certain type of way where you're not putting your all your focus or all your energy at work okay um just basically put your all at work. Don't feel like you need to like just chill, you know, put your focus completely at work so you can get to that next level. Because I feel like this month is crucial for you guys. OK, it's going to be that month where it can take you to the next level, especially if you have your own business with sales, too, because it is during the holidays. Um, you see what else I'm getting. So universe. How will the environment be for Aquarius at work in November 2021? The strength card. Okay, the two of wands. So the strength is about holding back. Um, it also represents perseverance. Okay, so I feel like there's a lot of people who want to get to your position or there's a lot of competition. Okay, so the environment probably is not the nicest but the universe wants you to take that energy and flip it into a way that it can motivate you and encourage you to like outperform all the competition okay basically okay so this month is just a milestone month okay don't let it don't let it feel like your drain okay just use it as like okay i'm almost at the next level let me do what's necessary okay also, when it comes to the Aquarius that have not been in their energy, you've been kind of like, again, feeling drained. You feel like you need to just take a break. The universe wants you to do that. The universe wants you to really put your energy into work. Connect with the right people, okay? Don't be in hermit mode, okay? Connect with the right people. So let's look at, let's look at the oracles. Let's see what else I'm getting. Okay, universe, give me a five card spread. What messages do you have for Aquarius for November 2021? Universe, give me the right cards. What messages do you have for Aquarius for November 2021? Universe, give me two more cards. What messages do you have for Aquarius for November 2021? Universe, give me two more cards. Oh, actually, I actually have another card here. Universe, give me two more cards. What messages do you have for Aquarius? Universe, give me one more card. What messages do you have for Aquarius? Okay, Jenna Energy is it's a new business. Give it some time to grow. Okay, but go ham. So again, <laughs> don't feel like there's a lot of competition. Don't feel that way. Okay, you can outperform that. Okay, 
really put in all okay this last two months okay um the time is now okay so the time is now for you to really like put everything okay into your business or into your um endeavors sometimes you have to go to a different path i mean different direction to go to the main direction okay so probably you got to change something up okay it could be like for example if you have your business marketing you got to change your marketing plan you got to change how you're doing marketing okay then there is um contraction phase and positive gatekeeper okay so if you've been feeling like your business have been slow or you've been feeling like your career um progression has been stagnant i feel like again you need to connect with the right people um connect with a great mentor okay with that positive gatekeeper um then there is use social media and competition i do see that so yeah they might have people that it's talking ish use that as fuel okay use that as motivation okay they might you may feel like these people have better marketing better something whatever use that again as fuel as motivation to outdo whatever they're doing so the universe wants you so also use social media with your endeavors, your business as well. But let's just say like you, for example, you work for a company and you can't really use social media too much. You can probably use LinkedIn to see how you can like connect with the right people to get to the next level when it comes to your field of work. OK, um, but like probably getting a mentor. That's what I was saying. Now, if you have your own business, the universe wants you to really use marketing like on social media to the next level. Um, probably taking some marketing classes when it comes to social media. Um, also like probably having like um, a social media ma manager, like hiring an agency too. Okay, that's what I'm seeing as well. So let's see what else I'm getting for messages for you guys. Okay, so. Universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Aquarius pertaining to their career in November 2021? Okay. Universe, give me two more cards. Universe, give me one more card. Universe, give me one more card. Emperor. Okay. Hill. Okay. So I feel like with the hill, it's more of the self-doubt okay what's causing resistance for you getting to the next level okay figuring that out and clearing that self-doubt away clearing that energy away okay with Taurus this is like self-worth okay again knowing that you deserve whatever you want to manifest okay that's very important in manifestation then it got repentance and reverse so I feel like it's like not not feeling like you need to like humble yourself OK, if you have a business, talk about your business. Don't feel like you don't need to uh, talk about it because it's not at the level that you want it to be. OK, talk to your business with the right people, people that can actually bring you business. Then it is have no fear. OK, don't have fear that something's going to go like don't have fear that something's going to go wrong in your life, wrong in the career, wrong in your business. No, like just do what's necessary figure out a way like how to get to the next level when it comes to your business or when it comes to your career. Okay. And then I got the emperor. I feel like a lot of you guys do need probably be a mentor as well. Um, okay. That's what I'm seeing. The emperor is about being in control. Okay. Also, you just want you to know that you're in control of your business or whatever you want to pursue in life. Okay. It just that like, you guys need to like clear out resistance and self doubt. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. So that's the reading that I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal read for me at queenfortarot at gmail.com.